Kathleen from the Great Florida Weave. And I want to thank you guys for coming out tonight and the bands for playing. They're doing this for free. So please, guys, uh, if you would, donate and uh, have a good time. we got lots of uh, great, great bands. We've got great, um, great fun here. We've got some great raffle prizes as well. Uh, we've got uh, some health passes. We've got gift certificates for different places. We've got some uh, image packaging that we can do for photo editing and all sorts of stuff. We've got some CDs as well. So please do um, have a good time. Thank you very much for coming out. And come over and say hello if you would, if you haven't already. Thank you. My name is Christine Guyard. I'm with the Great Florida Weave and Matter of Trust, and we are working together to try and get the oil out of our waters. Uh, this oil has come about because of the, uh, the spill in the Gulf from the Deepwater Horizon uh, rig that had sunk on April 20th of this year, 2010. And one of the things that I'm concerned about, other than just the oil, is all the gases that are being emitted from, uh, from this gusher that uh, not very many people are, are bringing uh, enough light to. Uh, you can look this up if you go on the EPA. Uh, you can see the report yourself firsthand. It's called Organic Volatile, Volatile Organic Compounds. And these volatile organic compounds are multiplying by uh, thousands of times that are, are more, um, that are not acceptable for, for, uh, for humans to be able to breathe. Um, this this uh, gas is also going up into the atmosphere. It's just natural science. It, it, it evaporates off of the sea. It goes into the atmosphere. It condenses, and then we get rainwater. And that rainwater is, is now being dropped uh, all over the state of Florida and, and everywhere else. Uh, the weather is not going to just affect the United States. These, um, these gas clouds essentially are going to go possibly anywhere in the world. We also have an issue with the methane gas that's coming out of this, uh, this gusher. And uh, unfortunately, I have not been able to find out very much information about this. But uh, there's quite a bit. That is what blew up the rig in the first place, was a methane hydrate uh, bubble. And uh, thousands of uh, pounds of this uh, methane is coming out of this. And, and this is a, a natural uh, greenhouse gas that I believe is 30 times stronger than uh, carbon dioxide. I'm here at South Shores Tavern in downtown Lake Worth, and we're here to raise awareness for the Gulf, and we're here to raise awareness for the hair booms, because the hair booms do work, and we have lots of marinas, private residents, we have uh, waterfront property, everybody's looking for these things, and we need to get the mesh, and that's what we're raising the money for. So we're buying netting with the funds, we're buying shrimp bags, and we're putting these booms inside of these bags, and we're setting them loose. They are floating currently out in the bays of Alabama. They are protecting uh, marinas in Fort Myers and, uh, and private residents and Indian reservations and everywhere that we can possibly get them in the water because they do work and, uh, and we know it and we're not going to give up. Uh, I know that the media has discounted these hair booms because BP says that they um, are not uh, good enough for, for them. However, uh, we have video that you can see uh, that's up on YouTube and in various locations. You can see it at the Great Florida Weave. You can see it on Matter of Trust that clearly illustrate that these hair booms not only work as well as conventional booms, but probably 10 times better than conventional booms. They sit in the water at a better rate. They also uh, they absorb more oil, and they retain more oil. Uh, the conventional booms, the oil just kind of falls off of them, and these hair booms actually hang on to it. Also, the hair booms are made out of hair, uh, fur, and fleece, and that's a natural product that is basically pure protein. And so when you have to dispose of these hair booms, you can throw them into the landfills or you can possibly incinerate them. Uh, we'd love to be able to incinerate these hair booms that we're using for the Gulf. Uh, unfortunately, because of the dispersants that they're using, we are unable to uh, incinerate them because of the carcinogens, which is another reason why they shouldn't be using dispersants. But that's another topic. Far okay, oh, great. That's fine. <laughs> Get me all flustered. I'm turning colors now. I can. I, I feel a Tony Hayward coming on. Okay. Three, two, one. In conclusion, this is about not necessarily about the hair. This is about gaining awareness. This is about getting involved. 
with every voice matters. Uh, I am just one person, and I started the Great Florida Weave because I felt that somebody needed to, and I wanted to be involved, and I wanted to be able to get awareness and get people uh, activated to get something done. And people coming together and being able to talk and, and being able to, to just kind of release some of the stress that this is causing everybody, everybody in this country and, and probably around the world. Uh, this is just, uh, it's important, and uh, I, I'm thank everybody for uh, for their contributions um, please do volunteer get involved uh, do donations uh, whether it be for the hair booms or, or something else that that is going to promote ecology and, and is going to promote an awareness for what's going on in, in the Gulf of Mexico uh, I'm all for it that's what the great Florida weave is all about getting awareness and getting everybody involved thank you Virginia.